John Smith c. 1570 c. The 28th of August 1612 was an early Baptist minister of England and a defender of the principle of religious liberty. Topic early life topic Smith is thought to have been the son of John Smith, a yeoman of Sturton le Steeple, Nottinghamshire. He was educated locally at the grammar school in Gainsborough and in Christ's College, Cambridge, where he became a fellow in 1594. Topic ordination topic Smith was ordained as an Anglican priest in 1594 in England. He preached in the city of Lincoln in 1600 to 1602. Soon after his ordination, he broke with the Church of England and left for Holland where he and his small congregation began to study the Bible ardently. He briefly returned to England. Topic believers baptism topic In 1609, Smith, along with a group in Holland, came to believe in believers baptism thereby rejecting infant baptism and they came together to form one of the earliest Baptist churches. Baptists generally believe that baptism is a sign of obedience to God. Mount 28-19-20 Baptists also believe that baptism by immersion is pictorially symbolic of cleansing from sin and spiritual regeneration. Likewise, they believe that baptism does not save one from sin, but is a believer's identification with the death, burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Topic evolving views Topic In the beginning, Smith was closely aligned with his Anglican heritage. As time passed, his views evolved. First, Smith insisted that true worship was from the heart and that any form of reading from a book in worship was an invention of sinful man. This rejection of liturgy remains strong among many Baptists still today. Prayer, singing and preaching had to be completely spontaneous. He went so far with this ideology that he would not allow the reading of the Bible during worship on the grounds that a translation was, dot the work of a monswit, and therefore not to be brought into the worship of God to be read. This idea stemmed from the belief that worship should be ordered by the Spirit. Second, Smith introduced a twofold church leadership, that of pastor and deacon. This was in contrast to the Anglican traditional hierarchy of bishop, priest, and deacon, and the Reformed Protestant trifold leadership of pastor-elder, lay elders, and deacons. Third, with his newfound position on baptism, a whole new concern arose for these Baptists. Having been baptized as infants, like the Anabaptists of the Radical Reformation they came to believe they would need to be re-baptized. Since there was no other minister to administer baptism, Smith baptized himself for which reason he was called the Say Baptist, from the Latin word say one self and then proceeded to baptize his flock. We can discount as a forgery the view of Dr. John Clifford as cited in the General Baptist Magazine, London, July, 1879, Volume 81, records that I n 1606 on March 24, this night at midnight Elder John Morton baptized John Smith, vicar of Gainsborough, in the River Don. It was so dark we were obliged to have torch lights. Elder Brewster prayed, Mr. Smith made a good confession, walked to Epworth in his cold clothes, but received no harm. The distance was over two miles. All of our friends were present. To the triune God be praise. This account was later revealed to have been a forgery connected with the rebuilding of the Baptist Church at Crowley, where the church now closed still bears a plaque falsely claiming to have been founded in 1599. End of life Before his death, Smith regretted the fact that he baptized himself, and wrote a letter of apology. Due to some shared views, including the Christology, he began a rapprochement with the Mennonite Church. This resulted in his excommunication from the Church by Thomas Helways. Smith and part of the Church joined a Mennonite Church, while Helways and another part of the Church returned to England to found the first permanent Baptist Church in 1611. The churches that descended from Smith and Helways were of the General Baptist persuasion. Smith eventually rejected the doctrine of original sin and asserted the right of every Christian to hold his own religious views. Among Smite's works, is the differences of the churches of the separation probably 1608 or 1609. <inaudible> <inaudible> Influence it has been suggested by W. T. Whitley that Smith may have coined such well-known theological terms as pedobaptist and Presbyterian. Topic. See also. Topic. Baptists. Believers' baptism. Baptist offices. 
Topic. References. Topic. <references>